They seem like a convenient way to get around town. But after mounting complaints, Coloma City Council putting the brakes on where electronic scooters can be used. The new laws that we've been telling you about for weeks will now also slow down other new ways to get around the city. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for staying with us for NBC4 at 11. I'm Colleen Marshall. And I'm Mike Jackson. Electric bikes, also known as e bikes, they're now included in the new regulations unanimously approved tonight by Columbus City Council. NBC4's Tyler Beckham joins us live from Clintonville tonight to explain more on the impact of these new rules. Tyler. Mike, we've moved up here to the Ohio State University campus, a pedestrian area like many others where as an alternative to walking, a lot of people opt for scooters. They grabbed headlines when companies like Lime and Bird swooped in and dropped them off all over streets in the city of Columbus with no real regulations in place of who could operate them and where. By definition, e-bikes are bicycles with an electric motor. By legal definition in the city of Columbus, in terms of where and how fast you can travel, no different than scooters. Well, the biggest concern for me as an e-bike dealer is that electric bikes will now not be allowed on uh, roads with speed limits above 35 mile an hour in the city of Columbus. E-bike rider Tom Bennett, not only the owner of Orbit City Bikes in Clintonville, but also a customer, says with newly enacted scooter laws that now treat e-bikes the same, it's not sales he's concerned about slowing down, it's his trip to work. Well, it's about a mile and a half, I could be here in less than 10 minutes, and now it's more than double, it's closer to four miles, and that's going to take me you know, probably around 20 or 25 minutes. Monday night, Columbus City Council approved new scooter laws that include e-bikes. Now neither can be ridden on streets where speed limits are 35 miles an hour or more, unless there's a bike lane, can't be parked on sidewalks, can't be driven over 20 miles an hour, and must have front and rear lights. Public Service and Transportation Committee Chair Emmanuel Ramey says the changes balance safety with technology. We believe that, you know, providing people guidelines on how to use these things, where they should use them, and, and do it in a safe and efficient manner is the right thing to do. As with his longer commute, Tom Bennett says he's trying to be patient with city council, hoping they soon backpedal on including e-bikes with those new scooter rules. Lumping e-bikes with e-scooters in this legislation was not the right thing to do, but it was a rush to get these scooters regulated, and they just threw e-bikes in there. So, for example, you would be able to ride scooters and e-bikes on High Street here where the speed limit is 35 miles an hour, but you can't take them on roads where the speed limit is any higher. State lawmakers are working through e-bike legislation now, and it would split e-bikes into three categories based on speed. State laws that would override, override local municipality and laws in cities throughout Ohio, like Columbus. <laughs> local for you in the OSU campus area, Tyler Beckham, NBC4. All right, thanks so much, Tyler. Rents and